Ha! Ah, here I am again. And so are the bugs. Anyway, yes, I'm, uh, I'm late. I'm late to, for a very important date. <laughs> Gotta go, go, go. Uh, anyway, words. Shit. Alright, so anyway, I watched these stupid final videos by Hannibal the putsy, nerdy fuckwit. And, um, uh, yeah, whatever, Fred Flintstone. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then Piro and Conference Board are kind of uh, talking back and forth about art. And it's just so irritating because it's all about these damn words. We invented all the words in our vocabulary, people. All right. Um, so anyway, the Hannibal guys using words like evil and meaning. Does life have meaning? And because intelligent people won't answer stupid questions, uh, because, yeah, all they can give is a stupid answer, uh, you know, unless they qualify it. Um, yeah. Uh, is matter impenetrable? Is black emptiness? I mean, when you just keep asking. You can just moron question forever. Uh, ask a rational question. Does suffering matter? Is sentience meaningful? Uh, yeah, ask a specific question and uh, intelligent people will give you answers. So on the subject of art, let me just get that one over with because that's the less interesting subject. Um, I think it's more important to understand it's like an engineer, right? You know when, when you see one. <laughs> you know, the guy knows what he's doing. He knows the facts, the figures, the this, the that. And I guess artist would be qualifying. So, I mean, art is produced by artists. <laughs> you know, somebody who has some reliability in terms of their ca capacity to uh, produce um, bits of creativity uh, that are unique and uh, provoke meaningful response from common human psychologies or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's sort of the definition. The art is in uh, moving, uh, stimulating, uh, manifesting emotion within human organisms. That's like the engineer's job is to remove the friction and uh, create reliability and dependability. The artist's job is to reliably provoke meaningful emotion, meaningful, um, substantial emotion or impact in the viewer, in the recipient of the, uh, the art. And I think that's a good enough qualification, but you just don't call everything art. And you don't call everyone an artist, because then you might as well throw the word in the toilet, which Pyro does to language. He just annihilates it and destroys it for his own purposes, because he's a fucking idiot. And so now he's decided he knows what art is, and art is any fart that comes out of any ass's ass, no matter what they intended, no matter how accidental their production, uh, it's just stupid. So anyway, I think the way to understand the word is to understand it from the creator's point of view, not the recipient's point of view, and that way you can give the word some qualification. If you reliably produce art, you're an artist, <laughs> as stupid as that sounds, art dependably, and uh, if you do it on purpose, you're an artist. If you do it by accident, <laughs> you're uh, you're an accident uh, happener. You're uh, you're something else. You're a bricklayer who accidentally made art. Uh, so it's a different thing. Anyway, so back to this language thing and words. And what I was thinking about is questions. You know, because this fuckwit, uh, Fred Flintstone guy, he asked these dumb questions, and you're just saying, well, "Why don't you ask smart questions, idiot?" And then you might be able to get somewhere. So that's sort of what I'm thinking. Although people don't really, I haven't encouraged people to make comments on my videos. Um, yeah, just questions. Questions would be a good idea. Um, questions that get somewhere, though. No, no, that, that's just the standard, do you believe in God kind of questions. But questions that dissect uh, the human animal, its psychology, what it believes in. You know, I mean, certainly some basic questions have to be asked 
uh, do you believe in UFOs or, you know, do you believe that life is something other than a, a consequence of chemical reactions on planet Earth? Some kind of qualifying questions like that to get to the heart of what people are believing in. Uh, you know, do they, uh, ha you, know, you know, even at the, the, the skeptic heretic, skeptical heretic guy, so disappointing. I mean, commenting affirmatively on just such a, a deceptive word game played by this stupid Fred Flintstone guy. I mean, it's just disgusting. I mean, why, you know, I mean, gee, I, had, I, I was almost giving him the benefit of the doubt, and he just turns into a complete asshole again. And now he's talking like um, sentience doesn't make any difference. Like you can kill as many people as you want. And, and he's using it under the guise of the word evil. Uh, I think you can honestly say that, look, we invented the word evil, and what the word evil has traditionally meant is bad with intent. Okay, something's evil when it's bad with intent. All right, uh, Bundy was fucking evil. He tortured people with the intent of doing them harm for his own gratification. I mean, that's fucking evil, okay? You don't get, that's the definition of evil. Evil is intentional harm. Uh, so, fuck, yeah, you don't call a rabid dog evil. You just call it, oh shit, get the fuck out of its way. Um, yeah, you call it bad fucking news, all right? It's bad as bad can be, but you don't call it evil. But if it's demonic and possessed by aliens <laughs> and wants to chew your legs off for that reason, well, then you might call it evil uh, because if it has intent. So again, these words have to be qualified. We have to come up with some kind of common language to goddamn speak or all of this is just complete waste of fucking goddamn time. And what's the fucking point? If people are going to use words like morality, ethics, values, interchangeably. They're not interchangeable fucking words. And maybe they should be, but they're not right now. <laughs> and I really don't think they should be. Uh, to me, they have very distinct definitions. Uh, and, and definitions that make some of them credible and some of them useless. Morality, in my opinion, is a useless word. Uh, it just has to do with the old dogmatic God says so bullshit. Why can't I do this? Because. That's, that's morality. Okay? When somebody just says because, that's morality. Because I say so. Because God says so. Uh, ethics uh, is a philosopher's attempt to uh, weigh the uh, probabilities, the likelihoods, the inevitabilities, the balance, and uh, to come up with some sort of description of the appropriate behavior. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, ethics is a much better word, the more useful word, because only, that's the one rational people deal with. Irrational people talk about morality. Um, yeah. So, but it's just so pervasive. So anyway, this fuckwit, this Fred Finstone fuckwit, he's now pronouncing himself victorious because he creates some horrible dilemma because people won't sit there and answer an imbecilic question without qualifying the answer. Life is not meaningful if it doesn't exist, number one. <laughs> it's only meaningful because it creates sentience in the universe and sentience is meaningful. So, if you'll just requalify your question, re-ask your question, does sentience have meaning? Well, then you'll get the rancher you're looking for, asshole. You'll get an emphatic yes, uh, but that isn't what you're trying to do. You're trying to force people to embrace the creation of sentience, not recognize the fact that it has meaning, but that somehow it has purpose by playing a word game. And then you... And then you have the obnoxious, uh, I don't even know what you call it, I hate these people who quote the dead of the past uh, as if those dead people would embrace what they're saying. Hey, Fred Flintstone, do you really think Marcus Aurelius, if he was alive today and understood DNA and understood what a condom is and understood that we don't have to be slaves to a, a moronic system, do you really think he'd be on your side 
Do you really think he'd be rooting for Fred Flintstone and saying, way to go, Fred. You sure played a little weaselly word game there. Do you really think so? Well, I think he'd kick you in the fucking goddamn nuts if he could find them, because obviously they're probably covered by layers of your blubber. But I think he would. I think he'd say, who the fuck are you, fuckwit, to quote me and pervert what I said to suit your weaselly little purposes? I mean, fuck, I was thinking five million miles ahead of you thousand years ago, you jackass. <laughs> okay, and if I had all your knowledge, and I saw a man land on the moon, and I saw Einstein's bomb blow up a few hundred thousand people, yeah, I'd have my opinions about that, <sighs> you stupid cunt. <laughs> you know, I mean, just disgusting, these weasels taking on other people's intellect as if it embraces their bullshit. Uh, I mean, I seldom quote the greats of the past beyond, like, you know, a Benjamin Franklin quote, penny earned is a penny saved, or penny saved is a penny earned, or, you know, apple a day. You know, those are good little jargonisms. Uh, but beyond that, you don't even need to give them at attribution. They're so commonsensical, uh, you know, in their meaning. Uh, but this idea of quote minding the greats of the past to justify your tweedle dumb fucking philosophy is just such a lame bullshit move, you fucking weasel. <laughs> yeah. And the irony of it is just so laughable. Because, you know, obviously a lot of these greats of the past thought life was absolute shit. But they resigned themselves to the fact that there's not a hell of a lot they can do about it. Because they didn't even know what a spermatozoa was, or an egg. <laughs> they didn't know what DNA was. They didn't know they could be easily interrupted. Uh, so yeah, it's a, a whole different world we live in than they live in, and you really don't have a right to assume they're on your side, fuckwit. <sighs> really. Uh, so anyway, back to the word thing, questions. So anyway, yeah, w questions have to be explicit. They have to be you have to use real words. You can't say something stupid like, uh, well, will love save us all? <laughs> you know, what's the fucking point? Save us from what? And what the fuck is love? Uh, no point. There's no point in saying something as stupid as, does life have meaning? Well, do the implications of life have meaning? Yes. <laughs> does life itself uh, does reproducing matter have meaning? Well, not unless it evolves sentience. Uh, I mean, these are necessary qualifications. There's just no way to get around them. You have to ask explicit questions if you want rational conversation. Otherwise, you'll just be exchanging um, inarticulate, badly, you know, you'll be writing letters back and forth that are so um, incomprehensible due to your handwriting or something that there's no point because everything you say will be misinterpreted and misunderstood and so you'll end up having a conversation about blackbirds when you're talking about uh, I don't know green slime it's just pointless so fuck you for being a weasel fuck you for slandering and stealing the uh, integrity and intelligence of the dead. Uh, yeah, I mean, all that. Yeah, just keep adding a lot of bunch of fuck yous. Fuck you for being you. You suck. I mean, grow some balls. Learn how to have a real fight. Quit being a weasel. A yellow chicken weaselly piece of shit. Uh, and defend the very idea that you think life is on a mission. That life is accomplishing something. And quit. I mean, yeah, and I got this to that stupid, uh, whatever he is, uh, the heretic guy. Uh, I mean, get the fuck real. You actually don't believe it matters if I kill six million Jews or I kill six billion Jews. It's all the same. It doesn't matter. There's no impact in the universal end. The story of life on Earth will be exactly the same meaning, exactly the same substance, 
whether six million die, six billion die, or six trillion die. It's all the fucking same. Is that really how stupid you are? God, you should be on the goddamn list then. I mean, for immediately, immediate disposal. Because you are a useless piece of shit if you can't get the, that question right. Does it matter that six million people get uh, slowly, uh, methodically, and torturously murdered? Uh, and if you can't answer that question correctly, yeah, you're just too fucking stupid. But what a cunt you are to call these silly word games a good video. Boy, do you fail. Man, you're just a gaping asshole. A gaping asshole. Ah, uh, Cicadia. Zoom. Not very good flyers. Very good noise makers, though. So anyway, ugly as fuck. But they get some. It's funny. Yeah, the girls are ugly, too. That's how it works, I guess. Anyway, until next time. And such and so forth.